Um, how many of you guys are creators in here? Raise your hand. Okay. How many have tried the whole TikTok game? Raise your hand. Yeah, yeah. How many have tried like the Instagram thing? Raise your hand. Yeah. How, how, isn't that hard? Make some noise if that's really hard to figure out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What is it like when you have just three seconds to capture the attention of an audience? I mean, if you, if you go back and imagine like Shakespeare in this time, Romeo, oh Romeo, wherefore out swipe. Or, you know, Be Beatles fans, come together, sing it with me. Swipe, you don't get to hear the rest of it because you didn't have a TikTok dance, Beatles. So this, this whole thing is a challenge these days. You get three seconds to get the attention of an entire audience. 14 months ago, I had, I have a loft here in Nashville, and I have roommates. I'm an accidental landlord, and I put people in these rooms, and most of them are musicians. There was a producer, there was a songwriter, and then there was my assistant, and I came over one time ready to write a song, to do a co-write, and the producer had some people over to do a co-write, and my other roommate had some people over to do a co-write. And for those of you who don't know what co-writes are, it's basically three or four people getting together and writing a song. They spend three hours, four hours creating a song. And so we had been having these conversations like, how do you break through? This is insane. It's like we spend our whole lives, we put our hearts and our souls and years into the, this craft just for it to be swiped. So we were there, we gathered up, and because there were so many people, it's like we were just going to go off into our rooms and write our songs. But instead, it's like, hey, well, let's try something different. Let's get everybody together. Let's pull some names out of a hat. We have a 63-year-old in the room and a 17-year-old in the room. And what if we pulled those names out together and they wrote a song? And in fact, because we're creatives and we're perfectionists, most of the time when we write a song, we never release it because we overthink. And so let's just put a time limit on it, 30 minutes. Let's just give them 30 minutes to write a hook and see what happens. So we did that. We split them off into rooms, gave them 30 minutes to write a hook. They came back, and this is what happened. This song is called Being Honest. I tell you that I'm whole, but I'm still healing. I tell you that I'm happy, but I'm grieving. That I was a fighter. I'm still in the fire. But if I'm This is the power of what people can do together with three seconds. And so I'm so excited. I'm so thankful to be up here because we get to experience this together. And the reason this is different is because we're going to invite all the writers who have been a part of this. Come on. And there's so many more. There's an L.A. Come on out, y'all. Come on out. Yes. Yes. And the reason today is so special it's because these guys have been with us some six months, some a year, some, some in some change, but it's only been 14 months since we've been a unit. And we're going to take your stories while some other, you know, people are talking and sharing, and we're going to write your stories today, and in 30 minutes, we're going to come back, maybe an hour and a half, but we're going to do it in 30 minutes, and we're going to perform songs you've never heard before, and they've never written before for you, and if one of, the goes, one of those goes viral, uh... It'll be your song. And so what we like to do is tell the truth in this space. I think that's the most important thing you can do is just be exactly who you were designed and created to be. Just take off the mask. And so if there's anybody in here who has a story, we want to write that story. We're going to break up into four groups. We're going to give a topic, and we're going to write a song, and they're going to come back and perform it for you here soon. So raise your hand if you want to share a story. Come on. What do you got, girl? What is your name? Emily Grace. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter from New Jersey, and I go to Belmont University. I've had 15 vocal cord surgeries. Yay. And I am still pushing to try and be a singer. And it's my dream, and I just have to let you know it's true. <laughs> 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 
Dennis, can you hear me for a second? Kendall? AJ. Um, when things don't go as expected, does that work? When things don't go as expected. They're going to write that for you, okay? Anybody else? Yes. That's CJ. Is there something that, is there something, is, it, do you, do, I don't even know what to pull from that. Is there a topic? Anybody, what's the topic? I'm just. The, the stress of the bonds between friends. Love it. Bonds between friends. All right. CJ. Hmm. Hugh. Let's go with you, man. Hugh. Oh, I love you, Hugh. Okay. And then Dorian. Does that work? Cool. All right. Y'all get over there. Special bonds between friends. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, we got two more. Yes. Oh, no, that, yeah, you right there, sweetheart. Balance. I love it. I love it. I love it. Becca? Wait, actually, I kind of wanted to switch it real quick. Hugh, can you get, can we, whoa, Dorian, can we switch with Gabe real quick? Can we switch with Gabe? I want to see what happens here. Balance and whatever comes to your mind in that story. So let's start here with Becca. Cool. Max? Cool. Dorian, let's do that. Okay. One more. Uh, let's go some way in the back. What do you got in the back back? It's you. Yes, yes, yes. You're looking right. Yeah, yeah. You got it? You got it. All right. We're going to write these songs. If we could, if someone in the crowd could write down exactly your name, and kind of the topic and the general thing, we'll collect those. We make sure we dedicate those to you before we, we perform. So, guys, we're super excited to come back. Thank you for having us. It is a gift for all of us to be here. And we will be back with some music. And, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> How y'all doing? Doing well? Can I get a little more monitor here? Thank you, sir. Okay, this is crazy. We haven't done this on a, such an intense timer uh, since the first day, and we're back there producing tracks and getting keys right, and every single one of these teams has a different track they're writing to. We generally write to the same track, so <sighs> this is crazy. Y'all are so freaking talented, it's insane. All right, this one actually, the very beginning group, <laughs> y'all come out, come on. CJ, Hugh G, Gabriel Broussard, come out. This is actually... CJ, and this is for her mother. This is what we wrote here. It's Brenda Pham and Assam Pham. Unable to, we'll take a minute here, have children due to ovarian cancer. A married college friend and her husband agreed that his wife would have my husband's baby and gave her back to us. Four people full of love created the beautiful child standing before you, CJ. This was an accident. I did not choose this intentionally. We are in the back here. So at Songhouse, we give them three takes. I feel like this group is good enough to knock it out one. You guys ready? Yeah. Do what oh, you do. Yeah. Here we go. Hey. All right. This was created literally just finished three minutes ago. I'm going to open this up real quick. And the right track. Here we go. You know the name of the song? Put it all on me. Cool. Cool. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Life goes up and down around and round a roller coaster. Burning bread, I lost my toaster, but you had a couple slices for me. For me. I always share my cheese. They never let us see in the breeze, but we were all that we need. Yeah. Nothing's hard to hard to face. No matter what the time or place, you don't have to go alone. I can be a blanket when the world is cold. Got a 
It just finished. That is insane. Can I get a picture of y'all real quick just so we had this? So I'm getting some content for the gram, you know what I'm saying? One, two, three. Make some noise, y'all. All right. So next up, let me make sure this is right here. This is very interesting. Okay. Dr. Nadai, as I say, correct? Nadi, Nadi. Advocate for life with a balance of technology. She wants to reconnect with what truly matters. So I was in the back just now. I'm telling y'all, we had 30 seconds there. Like, we don't even know the last lyric yet. So have some grace. Becca, let's come on out, sweetheart. Rebecca, Dorian, and my man Max. Let's try it out. You ready? All right. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This kind I did, and I faded, hiding behind a screen full of lies. I'm numb to the real world. Thank you guys so much. Y'all, I was putting fantastic. I didn't even know what you were going to finish with. Let's get a photo, y'all. Congratulations. That was so cool. One, two, three. Hey. Make some noise for these guys. All right. We're going to change it up just a little bit. Kendall, Dennis, and AJ, come out here, please. I'll let you go ahead and, and introduce it. Do you want to come over here? Dennis, my 63-year-old best friend. I love you, man. I love you. That's better. <laughs> Same. That's actually way better. There you go. <laughs> so our song was for Emily Grace, and um, who went through 15 vocal cord, sur cord surgeries. And I just want to say this, is I will guarantee you this. The people in this room will go to bed much better people because of your telling your story. Amen. So thank you, and let's go. All right, you guys ready? Yep. What's the name of the song? Wait, 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 uh, hold on. Go ahead. We, can, we have a little, hold on, let me make sure I got the key right. This is audience participation okay. if okay. you're down. You all ready for some audience participation? Because I think this would be really empowering for all of us. So it'll be like, whoa, whoa. See it? Whoa. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa! I like okay, it. Beautiful. So just join in with me while Kindle is singing, and uh, you ready? Here we go. Yeah, we'll Let's do it. <laughs> this song is called Bend. Fear I might be broken. There's an elephant on my chest. I'm stressed, been a wreck. Heaviness that's holding. It says I'm something less, no rest, out of breath My dreams might seem so out of focus But that don't mean that I am hopeless I'm never hiding my scars They taught me how to stand My bruised and beating heart Reminds me how Wow! There's magic in this building! Here we go! One, two, you're amazing. You guys are amazing. Three, cool. 
Guys, make some noise. <laughs> amazing, amazing. All right, we got one more song. And it's for Meg. And we're going to change it up just a little bit, give it a little bit more of a live touch. We're going to welcome to the stage Joey Barber, Marissa McKay, and Shane Wiseman, ladies and gentlemen. Meg, this is for you. Written by Meg, going through a divorce, rebuilding her dreams to be a role model for her kids. Do you guys know the name of the song? Better Me. Better Me. Guys, that is Songhouse.